Hello everyone. Okay, let's provide a solution to this problem. We have square root of 64, 64 over y equals y. Okay, we are going to solve this completely. So sit back, let's deal with it. Now we have square root of 64 over y. Now to remove this square root, we are going to square this. Then what since we brought square to the left, we have to bring it to the right. Now this is going to go with this. So we have 64 over y equals y to the power of 2. Now what we will do, this y squared is over 1. So we are going to multiply y times y squared. That is going to give us y to the power of 3. Then on the other hand, we have 64 times 1. That is 64. Now, if you take the cube root of 64, it will not give you the complete solution. It will give you just one solution. Okay, so we're going to get three solutions from here. We're having y to the power of 3 equals 64 here can be expressed to the power of 3. Okay, because 4 times 4 is 16 and 16 times 4 again is 64 bring this to the left so we have y to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3 equals 0 and now we can apply difference of two cubes just like we apply difference of two squares okay so rem imagine you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this will give a minus b then on the other hand we have a squared plus a b plus b squared okay so this is what we have now our a is y so in place of y minus b i'll write y minus 4 then in place of a squared i'm going to write y squared then plus a is y times b is 4 not minus 4 but 4 so write 4 here, then plus b squared, that will be 4 squared, and then everything is equal to 0. So we have y minus 4 here, then from here we still have y squared, plus y times 4 is 4y, plus 4 squared is 16, and then everything is equal to 0. Now that we are multiplying these two to get zero, it means that one of them must be equal to zero. If this is not zero and this is not zero, you cannot multiply them to get zero. So it is either y minus 4 equals zero or this right here, y squared plus 4y plus 16 equals zero. So I'm going to pick this first. To remove this from here, we're going to have y minus 4 plus 4 equals 0 plus 4. So if you do the same thing on both sides of an equation, you have not changed anything. Minus 4 plus 4 is gone, so we're having y here. And that is equal to 0 plus 4. 0 plus 4 is the same as um, 4. So this is one of the solutions to get the other solutions we'll go straight to this um y squared plus 4y plus 16 equals 0 so let's go there and deal with it okay so we have um we have um y y squared plus 4y plus 16 and then we equate to the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a 
now our y will be b is 4 so we have minus 4 plus or minus square root of b squared that will be 4 squared minus 4 times a times 16 a is 1 and c is 16 divide by 2 times 1 because a remains 1 so now y is equal to minus 4 plus or minus then we have square root of 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times um, 16 okay so this will give us 64 I will write 64 here then we divide this by 2 sorry I wrote out of sight now y is equal to the value of y we have minus 4 plus or minus now we have um, 16 minus 4 okay so I mean um, 16 minus 64 that will give minus 48 then we divide by 2 now what if I remove this 2 I mean this negative so y will now be minus 4 plus or minus square root of um, 48 multiplied by square root of negative 1 then everything is divided by 2 okay so y now will be equal to minus 4 right then we have plus or minus this 48 here has a perfect square as a factor that is 16 times 3 then times root 1 root negative 1 is i then we divide this by 2 okay to continue y will be minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 times i we write 4i then we still have root 3 here so we have th root 3 then we divide this by 2 to continue our y will be this will go here we have minus 2 the same 2 will go here so we have from um, plus or minus we have 2i root 3 this is a 2 in 1 solution because of the plus or minus let's get the three solutions y1 is equal to 4 the first solution then y2 is equal to minus 2 plus or minus we have 2i root 3 okay we are picking only the plus not the positive then for the third one we have minus 2 then we pick only the negative now have 2i root 3 so this is completely solved thank you if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe so you can get more of my videos thank you for watching